here. So what, maybe you can just explain the process of like what can happen, what might happen and like what definitely won't happen or like what, 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 what we're throwing a lot of jargon around here. What the hell needs to happen for him to leave office? Um, one of two things, um, he resigns, um, which he won't do, um, right. or he loses a no confidence vote. Um, right. So no confidence votes in Britain can be called in party leaders. Um, right. Does it have to be his party or can it be the, the Whigs? Are there still Whigs? Is that still a thing? <laughs> um, not, not Whigs, um, but no, other, there can be a no confidence vote called in him by other parties. There can be. Um, okay. But the thing about doing that is that generally speaking, um, the governing parties, MPs, or their political members, they don't tend to vote um, right. for their own to go out um, unless, you know, there's sort of really exceptional and circumstances. It, it, and it's like a majority or two-thirds majority or what? Like everyone gets together and they get angry and they have a big little tea party full of tears and rage and then they say, we don't have confidence in you anymore, Boris Johnson. Like, how does this work? Um, okay, so there is a thing called the 1922 Committee. Okay. Um, and the 1922 Committee, this is for the Conservative Party anyway. Um, okay. All this, this like key group of uh, Tory backbenchers. It's a very influential group. It's really important in the Tory party. Um, and it, it has a chairman, Sir Graham Brady. And if you want to express no confidence in the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, what you do is you send a letter into the 1922 committee. Okay, so uh, they're like the high school principal or like the headmaster or something. And if and if enough, you know, of the teachers say we want a new headmaster, then the headmaster has to leave or something. Or yeah. So what happens is basically. If 15% of Tory MPs write in to say they've got no confidence, so 15% is the threshold for the vote. So 15% write in, they all send their letters, reaches that tally. Um, so Graham Brady makes a declaration. There's, a con there's no confidence vote. That, that no confidence vote is as simple as 51% wins. 51% okay. for him staying, he gets another year before they can have a no confidence vote again. 51% against. He's ousted as Tory leader. Okay, fifty-one percent. So, so if more than half of Tories in Parliament want him out as leader, he's out. Game over. Yeah. Okay, that's simple. Yeah. It, it took them until nineteen twenty-two to come up with that. <laughs> um, so, if I can do a little bit of history here, um, but the group was actually formed in nineteen twenty-three. Mm. Um, we had a general election in nineteen twenty-two. And it was made up of a small group of new MPs, but they'd been elected in 1922. Okay. Um, and it was to help like integrate newly like elected members. Um, so exam for so for example, I guess um, if it was a Tea Party thing, you might say that you could have a 2010 committee and yes. it could help like Tea Partiers get their way around Congress, and then that committee might become really influential, sort of behind the scenes, etc. Right, you could show them where, like, the kerosene to burn the Capitol down with is, and yeah, like, exactly. you know, where like, to open the door for the QAnon chairman, and you know, yeah, that stuff. exactly, all, all that okay. sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, so all right, so real talk though. Um, yeah. Do you think Boris Johnson will be out of power by? What is, I think Brazil's election is in like October or November or something like that. Like, do you, can this happen in five months? It can happen um, in five months, yes. And I think the chances of it happening in five months are definitely greater than 11%. Well, can like, you tell me, because I'm holding some bags at like 40% chance. So can you tell me that they're greater than 40 cents, 40%? Because it would be great if you could pump that. Um greater than 40 percent it it depends on who you listen to i know motty definitely thinks they're greater than 40 percent. i know there's quite a few people um betting on our sports which thinks changes who believe that to be the case i think to lose a vote of no confidence i think it'd be tight for a vote of no confidence i genuinely believe it's probably in the 45 to 55 percent range depending on when it happens and sort of you, you know the inter-party stuff and what cases can be made um I think forty, I think forty percent is probably reasonable enough for him to be gone 
by October. I don't see them stretching it out all the way into Christmas. Um, but as to whether he'd lose no confidence vote, I'd be much less certain on that. I think there's definitely plenty of MPs who vote against him, but there yeah. are a lot of there are a lot of people who are loyal to Johnson in the way that they're loyal to Trump. You're not you're not going to get them to turn on him, um, particularly also as there's a government payroll. Loads of people are just ministers because the government has appointed them. Um, don't see too many people giving that up lightly. Well, also, if it, you know, if this controversy stretches until Christmas, every like everyone wants to be invited to Boris Johnson's Christmas party. So, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, sort of swimming upstream I mean, there. Yeah. Um, 